Hi everyone, welcome to Interview Pro. Let's see what are built-in environment variables provided by GitHub Actions. If you visit GitHub Actions docs, you'll see a section called Default Environment Variables, where you can find the number of uh, built-in variables provided by GitHub Actions. So you have uh, GitHub Action, which gives the name of the action that is currently running. Then you have uh, a GitHub Actor ID. Then we have Event Name, whether this event is triggered by a push or a workflow dispatch or a pull request like that. And then we have uh, a GitHub output. We have already seen this GitHub environment. Also, we have already seen that. Then we have GitHub repository. We have GitHub repository owner. Uh, then we have GitHub run attempt, run ID, run number. We'll see what these variables are when we look at the example. So we have so many uh, built-in variables provided by GitHub Actions. If we want to use them in our workflows, we can definitely use them. We can also use runner related variables. So if we want to know the architecture of the runner that is currently running the workflow job, then we can use runner underscore arc. It would give us whether this is uh, x64 or x86 or ARM. So uh, we have runner name, which gives us the name of the runner. Then we have runner OS, whether it's a Linux or Windows or Mac OS. Like that, we have several options here. So when, whenever we declare uh, environment variables within the workflow, we use the keyword ENV, right? But if we want to use this default variables, we cannot use ENV keyword because these variables are defined by github actions these are not defined within the workflow if they are defined within the workflow we would have used environment dot but since they do not belong to the current workflow like they are not defined inside the workflow we cannot use env and uh, uh, if you remember when i uh, when we learned about github uh, variables environment variables i said it cannot start with a prefix github underscore because they are reserved only for the default environment variables so uh, I, I said uh, we cannot use env to access these variables so how do we use them we can say dollar github underscore action or we have a context called github consider it like an object so it is an object it has several properties which is equivalent to the github uh, default variables so let's look at some of these environment variables provided by uh, default by github actions in an example so I am in the same repository which we were using from the last few sections. I have already created a workflow called test.yml. The name of this workflow is built-in variables. So this has two events, push on a main branch and workflow underscore dispatch to run it manually. This has a single job called job1 which runs on Ubuntu hyphen latest. It has two steps, one for GitHub context and the other for runner context. So in GitHub context, I have all the echo statements so that we can see the logs, what each of these variables give us. So first, I'm just printing the name of the variable so that we know what output is generated by which variable. So GitHub underscore ref, how do we access it? Using dollar GitHub underscore ref. If we do not want to use dollar notation, we can use expression as well. So when we say dollar expression, we use GitHub context and inside GitHub context, we have a property called ref. So if it is underscore ref here, it will be dot ref. Now we have GitHub workflow, which gives us the name of this workflow. So if I print this, we'll be seeing built in variables. So it can be accessed using these two uh, notations like it's dot workflow if it is a context and run id it's run underscore id then we have run number repository event name run attempt then we have runner related variables i'm printing runner name os and architecture then the temporary uh, directory location of the runner so uh, let me make a small change to this workflow and commit the changes so that our workflow gets triggered using a push event I have committed the changes going back to actions. It has triggered the test.yml. Now we have the job running and the job is completed. 
So let me open GitHub. Now we see all the values of each of these variables printed. So GitHub underscore ref gives us the complete path to our branch. First it's refs, inside refs we have heads, inside heads we have main. Main is our branch name. Then, uh, then we have a GitHub underscore workflow. I have already mentioned that this gives the name of the workflow. We can see that here. So this is the name of the workflow. We see the same here. Then GitHub run ID. So whenever we trigger a new workflow, there is a unique ID generated to each and every workflow repository level. So for this, it is 1791. If I go to another workflow like hello world and open one of the workflow runs, I see 8763. So throughout this repository, GitHub assigns a unique ID to identify each and every workflow. So let me go back to built-in variables. Similarly, we have run number. Run number is this number. Every time we run a new workflow, uh, every time we trigger a new workflow within this built-in variables, it will give us a um, incremented value to the previous one. So previous uh, workflow, when I triggered it, it before, like 13 minutes ago, it was 14. When I triggered it again, it was it is 15 now. So this is a unique number. Every time we trigger a workflow within this particular workflow, it gives a unique number, a incremented number. Then we have GitHub repository. Our repository is interview pro org which is the owner of this repository and name of the repository is github.actions so when we say github underscore repository we see this complete name owner slash name of the repository then we have event underscore name so this determines which event has triggered this workflow in our case it is push event let me go back and trigger it manually so i'll click on run workflow Notice that now we'll have a new workflow run ID, run number, and then we have a, sorry, I opened the previous workflow. So this is the current workflow. Now, if I open the job, this is completed. So now we see the workflow number has incremented. Previously it was 15, now it is 16. Now a new number has been generated 9603 to this workflow, which is run ID. Then we have GitHub, uh, so GitHub event name, which is now workflow underscore dispatch. You can uh, verify this in the summary as well. So this was triggered manually. So the event name is workflow underscore dispatch. We have one more variable called run attempt so now this is one if i rerun this job so the same workflow will be rerun again so this is called attempt number two you can see all the list of attempts here so first attempt was succeeded and it was triggered by this the second attempt is in queue now it is completed so now the github run attempt number should be two so it gives us the uh, attempt number so the number of times the workflow has run uh, it that number will be given here so this is about github uh, variables now let's see runner context so runner name is github actions 19 so this is where our job is running then we have uh, runner underscore OS, which is Linux, because we mentioned Ubuntu hyphen latest, which is the Linux operating system. Then we have runner, or, uh, runner architecture, which is x64. Then the location of the temporary director is home slash runner slash work slash underscore temp. So this is runner context. This is how you can use GitHub and runner contexts to access the built-in variables in GitHub workflows. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.